awesome planner friends. It is Ashley from Ashley Anderson Creates. Today we are going to be getting the monthly section of my fitness planner set up and ready to go. And I'm going to be using the Girl with Goals sticker books from the Happy Planner. I also have my laptop out so I can have access to my workout calendar. But for the month of April, since there's only one week left, I'm going to take these pages out and I'm just going to write in that last week worth of workouts. I'm not going to decorate the entire monthly spread. I just wanted to get those workouts wrote in so I know what workouts I need to be doing. And then we will hop into May's monthly section and we will decorate it and get my workouts all wrote in for May. Now here is what my calendar looks like, my workout calendar. It is through Beachbody. Yes, I am a Beachbody coach. You are more than welcome to sign up and join my team if you would like to. I am not here to pressure you to make you feel like you have to or to try to sell you on anything. You are an adult. If you want to sign up, you can do that. I just want to throw that offer out there. If you do not want to sign up, no worries. But um, I do do all my workouts at home through Beachbody. I've done them at home for a long time now. Um, back a couple of years ago, I actually lost 22 pounds doing my workouts at home. And I enjoy it because I don't like going to the gym. I also have other things I'd rather do than drive to the gym. So um, I love being able to do those at home. And I love the fact that it's like right now, setting here, setting up my planner for the month, I don't have to set and figure out what workouts I'm gonna do. They're already planned out for me and I can change programs at any time if I wanted to. So I just wanted to throw that out there. You're more than welcome to join me. By no means am I, I telling you that you have to or trying to sell you again. I'm here if you want to join. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some parchment paper. I also have my paper cutter and those strips of like washi style stickers in the sticker book, that purple one. I want to pull that up and I want to cut that one in half because I want it to be thinner. And so you can definitely do this with a pair of scissors and you don't have to do what I'm doing, but I find that it's easier to do it this way than to do it with scissors. But what I'm going to do is I take that little washi sticker and line it up on my paper cutter, which you guys can't see very well right now. But I line the parchment paper up to the bottom so it's straight. And then I line the washi, the washi sticker up the center so it's straight. And then you'll see me pull it over and I will cut that um, washi strip down in half so it does make it a little bit thinner. And then you kind of get double for your money here because it'll work you're making two pieces of it so that's double <laughs> I know this is this is very a very good learning experience isn't it um, anyways I'm gonna cut this down and then you'll see me I'm gonna place it on the top of the monthly section of my planner to cover up those peach strips that are at the top I don't really need new friends so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me, all that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much but There's like the two of us are gold and the gold you see What do you got so take a chance, take a chance it's magical when you are close, so be close, so be. What do you got? Cause I am cold and I'm cold. You're not really looking for a friend, so at the top for me. Never thought the loving would be easy, but it's all for free. Won't cost the thing, so it's yours. Hurt the try. found these super cute little itty bitty check marks in that sticker book and I thought man these are perfect to note my workouts so that's what I'm putting these little check marks down for each day is to note my workout for that day
So here I'm taking up a couple of the check marks that I put down. For the third week of May, I won't be doing the lifting program that I'm doing throughout the rest of the month. Just for that one week, I will be walking that week and running and stuff. But for the rest of the month, I will be following um, the lifting program that I'm planning out doing with that. Like the days that I'm doing the lifting program are the days that the check marks are on. And then I will take another strip of that washi where I cut it in half. I'll use that other strip of it for the third week to separate those to remind me that that week, that third week of May, I won't be doing the lifting program. This little sticker here says goal getter and I'm gonna add another one to the top on the left side that says make it happen. I thought that these were super cute. They cover up a couple of those boxes um, just add a little bit more of a decorative element, but also like a little bit of like those motivational stickers that we all love. And then here I found a couple of more, a couple of more clear motivational stickers and I put one on either page. Now, whenever I'm planning, I like to do whatever I do on one page. I like to do on the other. I just will put it on like opposite sides or something other than those two quote stickers at the top. Those are right across from each other. Usually I try to alternate those, but in the monthly section where those days are blank from the previous month, like they don't have the dates on them, that's a perfect place to add a little bit more decor inside of the monthly section of your planner. But don't you try to call me Watch me break Alright, here I'm taking the last week of April just to check and make sure what day I'm on to continue on in May for the workouts. And so now I'm just gonna start writing in my workouts and I'm looking at the, the calendar that is on my computer. there are so many different ways that you can use the monthly section of your fitness planner it does not have to be for workouts you could this like I'm thinking that this is a great place to track habits so let's say there's a habit you're wanting to build when it comes to habit building I want to recommend that you focus on one habit don't try to build like a ton of them but like let's say for example you want to drink a gallon of water each day you could use the monthly section of your planner to track that or if like me you struggle with migraines you could use this section as like a wellness section where you're tracking like your migraines or maybe your menstrual cycle or your blood pressure. Um, so many different things that you could track here in habits. You could meal plan here if you wanted to. But for me, what I like to do is have my workouts here for two reasons. One, when I'm planning each week out in my fitness planner, I use the monthly section as a reference so I know what workout's gonna go on for what day. And then also, like let's say I get up in the morning to do a workout and I'm like half asleep and I'm trying to figure out what workout I'm doing. I usually just flip right over to the monthly section and I look at it from there so then I know what workout I'm doing. Now yes, I could flip over to the weekly section of my planner and see the workout, but I don't like doing that because then I get distracted. I get distracted like, oh crap, I didn't fill in my planner from last night so I'm gonna do that now and then I'm prolonging me starting my workout. So if I'm looking at the monthly section, it's already filled out. It, lessons it makes it less likely that i will procrastinate on exercising all right there is the monthly section of my fitness planner ready to go for the month of may i love it i think it turned out super cute also didn't mention this earlier, but I did use Tombow double-sided tape on the little, the purple swatches on the top left and the bottom right, because those are actually sticky notes out of the Girls With Goals accessory pack. So I use the Tombow double-sided tape to make sure that those will stay in my planner. But that, my friends, is my fitness planner for the month of May.
Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.